Hello, hello everyone, welcome to another Commander Review. Today we are talking about Rogar of Care Keep from the Legends set. Um, this is a very interesting commander. I, I think it's very fun and I can't wait to talk about it. But man, is it weird. Uh, Rogar of Care Keep is a legendary kobold 5-5 five five that costs 6 mana, 2 generic, 2 black, 2 red. And it's got a few lines of text. At the beginning of your upkeep, pay red, red, red. Or, uh, if you don't, tap Roga, son of, uh, Roga of Care Keep. Did I say Roga, son of Care Keep earlier? I hope I didn't. It's Roga of Care Keep. I just recently played against the, the later renditions of those cards. Uh, and it was very fun gameplay, but I'll talk about that in a different video. Um, if you don't pay 3 red, tap Rogar of Carekeep, and all creatures named Kobolds of Carekeep, then an opponent gains control of them. There's a little bit of rules text with that line in particular. Um, creatures you control named Kobolds of Carekeep get plus 2, plus 2. So, a Lord of Kobolds. So let's talk about the just the fine points of that. Uh, Rogar's first ability isn't targeted. If you don't, uh, you don't choose the opponent that will gain control of the creature until the ability resolves. Um, so, yeah, you gotta, you gotta either pay the mana or you don't, and then they all tap, and then, then someone will get them. Um, if you don't pay red or red as the first ability resolves, um, all creatures named Kobolds of Care Keep become tapped. Uh, as does Rogar, the chosen opponent gains control of Rogar and all creatures named Kobolds of Care Keep, regardless of whether you control them or whether they were tapped by the ability. Um, yeah, it's just repetitive of Rogar. Pay the tax or someone else is going to get all of those creatures tapped. Um, what better card to put with Rogar than the Kobolds of Care Keep? Obviously, the kobolds need to be with their master, and they're cool because they're, you know, they're kobolds zero one. Uh, they become two threes with Rogon play, but they're zero mana, which is really cool. Uh, the deck I am putting them in, oddly enough, is Dragon Tribal. That's mostly because kobolds are a sub theme of that deck, um, and since Rogon is a kobold lord, I kind of need that in there for that reason. Uh, but this is a dragon deck primarily, so a lot of dragon synergies there. Um, you could do a kobold tribal deck and maybe do something with aristocrats because kobolds are cheap. Um, and there are shapeshifters with a changeling ability, so you can have multiple types of kobolds that way. Uh, and then, as I said earlier, do some aristocrat shenanigans with the Rakdos colors, which is really fun. Lastly, Take advantage of giving your opponents Rogah of Care Keep. Let them have the Horde of Kobolds, and then let that person give them to someone else, because it doesn't matter who has them. You're going to beef them up with goading enchantments, like uh, like incriminating impetus or ghoulish impetus, uh, and then you're just going to goad the whole table and just have the Kobolds fight no matter what side of the table they're on. And uh, as long as they're goaded with your enchantments, they won't attack you, which is really cool. At least not till the very end. But at that point, you should have enough mana to pay the tax. Uh, and that's going to do it for Rogov Care Keep. Fun commander, unique commander. Kobolds are very fun and unique, but they're also very weak. And man, that is an expensive tax to play. And it's just an expensive commander right off the get-go. Um, so, bear that in mind. Very expensive tax. Three mana every turn is a lot of mana to lose and not be able to use. So, be careful. Um, I preferably think the go to deck would be a lot of fun. Let me know in the comments below what you guys think. I'm excited to use it in my dragon deck just because I need kobolds in there as the sub-tribe. And, uh, yeah. I'm excited. Let me know in the comments below what you guys think. Let me know if there's anything I missed because I'm sure there is something that I did miss. And um, I'm looking forward to reading your guys' comments. I hope you guys are enjoying this as much as I am. 
And if you want to see more, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and hit the bell to get notified when more videos come out. And as always, I'll see you in the next one. Bye!